all right dear sorry for interruption somebody was there okay anyways so we were talking about uh, this portion when he's falling uh, all of the torso I don't find in it find it in that much flow but but for the moment let's do one thing let's just try to correct the last portion when it is falling ah uh, it's in this direction all right so, so we have a curve changed in direction here when it was falling it was squashed okay that's a good idea okay this is stretched i mean this is curved in the other direction now when it falls we should rather have it somewhere like this see this is like this so we should have it something like this when it touches the floor after that we have the curve reversed then you will have that impact at the moment again you are making the same thing when it falls it's in its final position now it it's not going to give you that movement of stretch and squash right I think with this much of correction you should be ready to go with the splining stage all right just try to tweak it a bit so by tracking you know various components here so that when it goes from this position to this position I, my I should not find jerks in various parts if I start looking at this it looks like uh, it's going hanky panky slightly although in splining you will have to you know take care of this so maybe if you are not able to take care of this here we will do it in splining all right there take care bye all the best